for. With the 4th of July just a couple days away, folks are already celebrating across the heartland. But police say there is one way you should not enjoy the holiday. Ahmad Lathan joins us live in the newsroom with that story. Ahmad. Jeff and Kathy, it's not just fireworks popping off in the sky. Police say celebratory gunfire increases around July 4th, and those celebrations can sometimes turn into scary moments. Well, one year my house was shot, there were 14 shell casings. Tara Barrow Tran lives on the north side of Cape Girardeau. According to everytown.org, Gunfire reports usually increase during holidays, such as Memorial Day, New Year's, and the 4th of July. That includes celebratory gunfire, which is nothing new to Beltran. The danger is when they, they could hit a little kid, they could hit an elderly person, and not mean to and end somebody's life prematurely. Cape Girardeau police say they'll use their shot spotter system to combat celebratory gunfire. Again, like I said, it's dangerous, it's reckless, it's illegal. Um, there are several charges that you could be facing if you're caught firing a weapon inside the city. Well, it's dangerous. Verbal Walters lives next door to Beltran. She says gunfire during the holiday season can lead to dangerous situations. I mean, the velocity is still pretty fast when it comes down. And it can go through a roof. It can get you in your sleep. Uh, go right through your car while you're driving. Walter offers some advice ahead of the holiday. The best uh, suggestion I can give, just be safe. You know, use your head. And Beltran hopes folks in her community avoid gunfire during this time of the year. Really, people need to not, not do it in town. There's no need to shoot a gun off to celebrate your freedom. Police also tell me they'll have extra patrols during the 4th where they deem as hotspot areas. Jeff, back to you.